Hello everyone, this is the woman who speaks Celestia and welcome back to my channel for my old subscribers and thank you, um, welcome to the newbies and thank you guys for supporting the channel and today I'm at Aqua Wellness in Regal Park in Queens and I'll be doing my first colonic and um, she gonna guide me through everything and this is the room, a nice little area, they have the bathroom right here, I mean the toilet right here so everything can go and this is the way she set up everything else that she'll be using so she didn't give me any pamphlet to read about with the procedure or explain to me yet how the procedure will go so i'll be waiting for her to come back so stay tuned okay guys she will explain to you how she's gonna proceed with the procedure and um yeah because i don't really know what um to expect so she will be explaining to you guys what she'll be doing okay and this What's your name? Judy. This is Judy. Okay. Go ahead. Hi. So, what I just asked her that take off everything face down. You can keep the top on, just fold it up. Or if you don't like to use your own clothing, use a gun to put on it opens in the back. And then you lay down here onto your back face up. You put the legs over the two cushions and just cover with the paper sheet. Okay? okay. And this is the tube I use. And I attach to the machine from this side, and I will ask her to insert about two inch from her side. These gloves and lubricant. So um, basically, I'll be the one inserting the tube, or are you gonna be inserting it? I usually ask the patient, but if you have a hard time, you know, in case, mm -hmm. then of course I can help you. All right? Okay. All you right. Give some privacy when you're ready. You can call me with the. Thank file. you so much. No problem. Okay, everyone, I just changed my clothes because I don't want my dress to be too wrinkly when I get out of the the facility. So I change into a nightgown and this is the way it looks like. Opens in the back and I don't want you guys to see anything. So right now I'm getting ready to go on the table. So get ready for her to do what she has to do. Okay. Okay, I am laying down waiting for her to come, so I have to cover myself up. Hope you guys don't see nothing. So as I said, I'll be waiting for her to come and insert the tube and we'll see what will be next. See when I feel because she stepped out for, for me to get some privacy to take off my clothes and everything. So I'm waiting for her to come back so we can start. See when I feel. Okay, I thought she would be the one inserting the tube, but I just realized there is an instructions you have to follow. Um, like they ask you to, um, um, you know, how to prepare for cleanse. They ask you first to undress from waist down, and you'll be using a glove to lubricate round end of nozzle. Then you'll be attaching um, attach lubricated nozzle to tubing and catch basin. And then you use gloves to lubricate your anus. Very important. And then you will be laying back. No problem. You'll be laying on your um, back on the table. Then you will slide buttocks up to the catch basin. Then you'll insert lubricated nozzle no more than three inches into rectum. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me show you. All the instruction and then to begin cleanse they will open valve to release water to the colon then you'll be relaxed and breathe allow water to fill colon at comfort level do not push waste out allow waste to be expelled at will call for assistance is needed and then to end cleanse you will close valve to stop water flow then you will tilt Tilt and raise hips until nozzle falls out. Remain on basin for final command release and then use toilet tissue to clean yourself through toilet tissue in the waste basket, not in bowl. After cleaning yourself using the to assist getting off the table, you spray hose hose to clean catch basin. So be all the instructions are here, so we'll see.
that is different. important. Mm -hmm. So what colon hydrate mainly does, besides the cleaning, it helps you to exercise your colon muscle. All right. It's good because you see you use bathroom, but do you ever feel something still there? Right. And it just doesn't really clean up, you know, fully everything. And this is how more and more things stop. Mm -hmm. Whatever sits there, it starts to produce bad bacteria gas. Okay. And that's why you feel so sluggish and sometimes discomfort. And it makes a difference, right? In the end, you feel less bloated, more cold, right, like right. a lightness. And you know, my ladies like it because to change off from the waist. Right, line. right. All right? Okay. The feeling is like a diarrhea. It keeps falling, filling you up. You will feel like you really need to use a bathroom, pass gas, and mm -hmm. that's the job. And if you feel you don't have to hold, just breathe and push the water out, like using bathroom number two. Okay, so okay. how long does it last? It's 35, 45 minutes. Not everybody can make the 45. It's up to you. Okay. Sometimes your, it depends on your muscle strength. Mm -hmm. Because after a while, the muscles get tired and start to cramp. Just like okay. you, know, you know, when you're in the gym, right. you work out. Okay. okay. Then nice. just make sure the water is warm. Did you have the chance to insert the tube? I couldn't do it because it's kind of like short when I was trying to push it. Okay. I couldn't do it. Then I'm going to help you with it. So I'm going to make sure the water is warm. Alright, let me just get my gloves and then I cut. Alright guys, um, this one was my um, gloves, so I can insert, uh, I could have insured them. Um, I have to leave it up here, so I'm kind of sweaty because the, uh, look at my teeth and I cannot clean it. Um, the process of pushing the tube in my rectum was kind of like, difficult so i'm not saying hard sorry for my teeth but i cannot um clean it because you know i had to use some lubricant to insert the tube um yeah so uh, when i was inserting the tube mm, i cannot see my face like this okay better so when you're putting on the tube on your rectum it's kind of called a feeling Everything looks good. It's yes, it's yes, it's working. Okay, Thank I you. Back with the okay, now, no problem. So All right. So right now, the feeling I'm having is kind of like when you have cramp, especially for those of us women when you have um, your period and everything. It's like cramping, and I feel like I have to poop. And she asks me to breathe every time I feel. Oof, it's cramping me so hard. Yeah, I'm sweating a lot. Oh, God. It's not uh, easy. Ooh, easy things, guys. It's not. And she said, don't keep anything in. Just relax. But I cannot push. Oof. Guys, I will see you on the next. She will be giving me a heating pad because the cramping is no joke. So I don't think I can go be, um, and ask, I, I ask her how long it would last. She said between 35 to 45 minutes, but I'm like two minutes in, not even two minutes yet. And I feel like I can support it. So I will see you guys. Ooh. Okay guys, after almost 50 minutes, because I have to sit in the toilet for another five minutes. So everything else came out. That is the best money I ever invested. Oh God, I feel good. But the cramping part, that was my downfall. But besides, um, I don't wanna show you because it's kind of messy. And what I really like about it is kind of like, you didn't smell anything. So I'm gonna get ready. So I'll see you in a few. I'm good. <laughs> you done? <laughs> okay i am like seven minutes in and it's kind of like more more i mean as i read the instruction they said not to push so i was withholding everything so when she came back i asked her i felt like going to the like the sensation of going to the bath using the bathroom and she said yes because it's stimulating your um you know the intestine to release all the debris and everything so after i push guy that feels so good 
and I think um, every second it stimulates the bowel and then oh How you feel? I'm feeling okay right now Have because I think yes I pushed that? yeah I pushed and it feels better but the, you, oh, okay I hear it coming yeah so every time the water is pushed inside and if it's a little bit yeah the cramping is kind of like you know disturbing but after you push everything out i mean not everything when you're pushed and i'm um, like when you're using the bath um the bowel it feels a little bit better so yeah we'll see see you bye you hear that drink a lot of water See, no, oh, that would be it for today. What? Is good? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I am out right now, so that was a nice experience. So, here, if you are living in Queens, I think it will be good. This is um, their thing right here. So, that was a good experience so far. So, okay guys, so I think I will end the vlog right now because I don't want it to be too long and that was a good experience and probably I will do it in, um, some other time but right now I am good I guess. So yes guys, if you haven't subscribed and if you have done it, just let me know how the process, the process went for you. And um, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do so by hitting the subscribe button, like, and share. And I will see you in my next bye.